I'm Louise Pinnell for Advance TV and welcome to our first Leaders to You. I'm joined by Andy Walsh who is Director of High Performance for Red Bull and Andy is one of the world's leading high performance specialists. You've got a stable of about 500 athletes uh, throughout about 120 different sports and that includes snowboarding right through to racing car, motor, Formula One. So how difficult was it to create a management program that incorporated all those athletes? So the people we're working with are highly motivated and they really want to do well. So it's a great group to sit down with and have a conversation about what is it going to take to be best in the world? What is it going to take to fulfill the dreams you want? And then simply for us, it's about discriminating between the coaching and the technical part of the sport. The coaching for us relies a lot about how do we measure them up against success? How do we benchmark them against the best in the world? How do we understand what motivates them? And when we understand those sorts of things, we can apply that across any sport. The technical side, whether they hit a cricket ball, or they run with a rugby ball, or they drive a motor car, we leave that to the experts. We look after the actual individual and try to get the most out of them. So with those who are listening today, our audience members, um, I'm assuming that they, they all can't drive a car like Mark Webber um, or get on a snowboard like Sean White. But uh, in business, could they apply the same sort of theory that you're, you're in fact using with athletes? I think definitely. I think the business world is very similar to the sporting platforms we look at. We're trying to get our individuals, get our talent to become the best at what they do. And the business programs, you're looking to beat your competitors to try and maintain that competitive advantage. So what we try and do is we try and understand very implicitly what it takes to be number one in that particular craft, whether it be, as I said, cricket, it may be rugby, it may be driving a motor, motorsports car. And once you understand what it takes to be world class in that particular sport or that environment, we then benchmark the athlete very heavily against those metrics. And once we understand that, we sort of sit down and just build an environment that really supports what they want to do. And we take a lot of time to try and understand who they are, what motivates them. And we put that all together and we build a program that brings them up and supports them. And we're currently ch constantly checking in to make sure that we're on the right track and making sure that we're doing the right thing. So you've touched that on that a little bit. You've identified the talent, whether it be in business or whether it mm -hmm. be in sport. So, so then what, what next? What, where, where do you go from, from there? What incorporates uh, uh, the different parts of, of your program? Okay, so basically the program we set up is then put in place is designed specifically for every individual or designed specifically for a team to get them to a certain point in their career. And the interesting thing about sport is that there's always an end game. There's always a world championship, there's always a gold medal performance, there's always a particular skill you've got to perform at a very particular given time. And business typically is a lot more process driven. Yeah. So what we try and encourage our athletes and people who we're advising in the business world, start thinking about the idea of setting up these big targets in your business, much like we'd approach a major event. Think about how you would build your athlete or how you build your program up to perform really at that time when it has to come, all, all has to come together. And we do that through practice, we do that through driving scenarios where the athletes and the people get the opportunity to test themselves against what they're trying to uh, achieve. And by bringing that process together, we really try and build a program up to get the most out of them. I think one of the uh, athletes we work with that uh, the audience could relate to is uh, Robbie Madison. He's our freestyle motocross uh, driver. And several years ago, he came into our offices and had this crazy idea that he wanted to do what's called a step up, jump on top of a building and then jump back down. And he chose the <laughs> replica of the Arc de Triomphe <laughs> in Las Vegas. And he's an amazing guy with amazing talent and, and well driven, you know, really knows what he wants to get done. But he still didn't know how to perform this particular uh, uh, achievement or act. And so what we had to do was sit down and really methodically lay out a plan to take that talent, understand what it was about, what he, he what was trying to achieve and why he wanted to achieve it, and then put periodic systems of practice and training and progression in place. So we gave him the chance to try at a very low level, practice mm -hmm. at 10, 20 feet, then he got used to that. And we got a chance for him to practice at 30, 40, 50 feet got used to that and then finally we got him up to the point where he was hitting 100, 110 feet which is the wow. height he had to jump to. Yeah. And so through that whole idea we were creating an environment that supported him, gave him the chance to push himself a little bit, find out where his limits were, then pull it back. And I think that applies to anybody whether it's business, life or sport. You know, that, that pushing to see where you are and where your limits are and bringing it right to that edge lets you learn a lot about who you are and what it takes to take that next step. Thanks for watching Leaders to You. I'm Louise Pinnell for Advanced TV. Thank you.